Hello everybody, this is Tara Betts and I'm checking in with you and hope everybody is doing okay this morning. I uh, wanted to share a poem and I'll probably talk about a book in my next installment that comes along probably really close behind this, but I wanted to share a poem with you from Evie Shockley's Semi-Automatic uh, I like teaching her work, not just because I've met her and I've read with her and I think she's brilliant. I like teaching her work because I think she's really <clears throat> an innovator in terms of poetic form, uh, especially among contemporary African-American writers. And I love teaching her work because it kind of opens up students to new poetic forms like they always hear about the sonnet. They always hear about the Villanelle and the Sestina and I am big pentameter. And she's done stuff where she'll offer a contemporary segue into the Ulipo movement, which a lot of undergrads and graduate students aren't familiar with, but it was basically a French movement of writers that would, <coughs> they would do word games essentially, and hope that meaning might come out of that more often than not. So a lot of times you might hear about the Ulipo movement, if you're familiar with Raymond Cuno or someone like that. Uh, he did a book called Exercises in Style, which I recommend to students all the time. Uh, but this book in particular, um, it's a little bit different from her previous book, The New Black, which was her first full-length collection. She did, no, it's her second one. She had another one before that called A Half Red Sea. And then she had a chat book that was called The Gorgon Goddess. I've been a fan for a long time, as you can tell. Um, but this book in particular, there's a poem in here called I Declare War, which if you grew up in the time period where I grew up, I Declare War was a card game. And a lot of people are doing poems now about spades. Like if you look at Terrence Hayes or more recently, Alison Rollins in her book, The Library of Small Catastrophe, she has a poem about spades. But I liked it because it was a different card game. So I showed my students the poems about other card games. And then we looked at this poem, um, which if you're familiar with it, it's like if you come up, it's like two people. <coughs> throw down a card. The card that is worth more can take the smaller card, right? But when you come up with a matching card, it's like a duel. And so you have to put down cards on each syllable of I, D, Claire, War. And then whoever has the higher card when you hit War wins all the cards that are in that, that, that duel per se. So when I taught the poem, my students weren't familiar with the game. So we ended up playing the game. And then we talked about other card games and how we associate games with memory or gatherings or places where conversations happen. And we did some writing around that. But that's just me going on and on. I hope you'll check out this book. I'll read the poem and just so you get an idea this poem right here, this is what it looks like on the page. So you definitely read it right to left and top to bottom. It's not like a two column poem where it reads necessarily like two different poems. Uh, that's more of a contrapunto. This one is pretty straight up. It's almost like two sides getting ready to go against each other in battle. It's really interesting if you think about it that way. So here we go. I declare war. High stakes cards, three hidden, the fourth turned up, nine beats five, queen beats ten, winner takes all, research, research, research. okay, I'm going to start over because I don't want to miss everything from the beginning. High stakes cards, three hidden, the fourth turned up, nine beats five, queen beats ten, winner takes all, research, rich land cards lying face down may hide collateral damage kings are wild but presidents are wilder it used to take 
two branches of government to commit this country to international conflict. Now, it only takes one joker, willing to pull rank. Queen of Diamonds takes Wells of Oil. Jack of Diamonds takes Port of Prince. Fours met with four. We're done talking. I declare war. In seconds, we're involved in a game where we risk everything. Our ace in chief seeks popular, not congressional support. He holds his cards close to his chest. He drones on and on about how smart his bombs are, how thick his deck. He's a real player. You don't say. I do declare. I declare war from Evie Shockley's semi-automatic. And I believe it's in paperback now. So, and it was shortlisted for the Pulitzer Prize. So overall, it's a great book. I recommend that and her other work. And thank you for tuning in.